The Carnot model is a theory of product development and customer satisfaction developed in the 1980s by Professor Noriaki Carnot, which classifies customer preferences into five categories. Categories These categories have been translated into English using various names, but all refer to the original articles written by Carnot. Must be quality. These attributes are taken for granted when fulfilled but result in dissatisfaction when not fulfilled. An example of this would be package of milk that leaks. Customers are dissatisfied when the package leaks, but when it does not leak the result is not increased customer satisfaction. Since customers expect these attributes and view them as basic, it is unlikely that they are going to tell the company about them when asked about quality attributes. One-dimensional quality these attributes result in satisfaction when fulfilled and dissatisfaction when not fulfilled. These are attributes that are spoken of and ones which companies compete for. An example of this would be a milk package that is said to have 10% more milk for the same price will result in customer satisfaction, but if it only contains 6% then the customer will feel misled and it will lead to dissatisfaction. Attractive quality, these attributes provide satisfaction when achieved fully but do not cause dissatisfaction when not fulfilled. These are attributes that are not normally expected, for example, a thermometer on a package of milk showing the temperature of the milk. Since these types of attributes of quality unexpectedly delight customers, they are often unspoken. In different quality, these attributes refer to aspects that are neither good nor bad, and they do not result in either customer satisfaction or customer dissatisfaction. Reverse quality, these attributes refer to a high degree of achievement resulting in dissatisfaction and to the fact that not all customers are alike. For example, some customers prefer high-tech products, while others prefer the basic model of a product and will be dissatisfied if a product has too many extra features. Must be quality, one of the main points of assessment in the Carnot model is the threshold attributes. These are basically the features that the product must have in order to meet customer demands. If this attribute is overlooked, the product is simply incomplete. If a new product is not examined using the threshold aspects, it may not be possible to enter the market. This is the first and most important characteristic of the Carnot model. The product is being manufactured for some type of consumer base, and therefore this must be a crucial part of product innovation. Threshold attributes are simple components to a product. However, if they are not available, the product will soon leave the market due to dissatisfaction. The attributes is either there or not. An example of a threshold attribute would be a steering wheel in a vehicle. The vehicle is no good if it is not able to be steered. The threshold attributes are most often seen as a price of entry. Many products have threshold attributes that are overlooked. Since this component of the product is a necessary guideline, many consumers do not judge how advanced a particular feature is. Therefore, many times companies will want to improve the other attributes because consumers remain neutral to changes in the threshold section. One-dimensional quality, a performance attributes is defined as a skill, knowledge, ability, or behavioral characteristic that is associated with job performance. Performance attributes are metrics on which a company bases its business aspirations. They have an explicit purpose. Companies prioritize their investments, decisions, and efforts and explain their strategies using performance attributes. These strategies can sometimes be recognized through the Campania Euro unregistered trademark S slogans. For example, Lexus's slogan is a Euro OE the pursuit of perfection, a Euro and Walmart. A euro are we always low prices? Always a euro. In retail the focus is generally on assuring availability of products at best cost. Performance attributes are those for which more is better, and a better performance attribute will improve customer satisfaction. Conversely, a weak performance attribute reduces customer satisfaction. When customers discuss their needs, these needs will fall into the performance attributes category. Then these attributes will form the weighted needs against the product concepts that are being evaluated. The price a customer is willing to pay for a product is closely tied to performance attributes. So the higher the performance attribute, the higher the customers will be willing to pay for the product. 
performance attributes also often require a trade-off analysis against cost. As customers start to rate attributes as more and more important, the company has to ask itself, a euro away how much extra they would be willing to pay for this attribute. A euro and a euro oil the increase in the price for the product for this attribute deter customers from purchasing at a euro prioritization matrices can be useful in determining which attributes would provide the greatest returns on customer satisfaction. Attractive quality, not only does the Carnot model feature performance attributes, but additionally incorporates an a euro o excitement a euro attribute as well. Excitement attributes are for the most part unforeseen by the client but may yield paramount satisfaction. Having excitement attributes can only help you, in some scenarios it is opt to not have them included. The beauty behind an excitement attributes is to spur a potential consumer's a euro unregistered trademark imagination, these attributes are used to help the customer discover needs that their euro unregistered trademark they never thought about before. The key behind the Carnot model is for the engineer to discover this a euro owing no need a euro and enlighten the consumer, to sort of engage that a euro OA effect a euro having concurrent excitement attributes within a product can provide a significant competitive advantage over a rival. In a diverse product assortment, the excitement attributes act as the WOW factors and trigger impulsive wants and needs in the mind of the customer. The more the customer thinks about these amazing new ideas, the more they want it. Out of all the attributes introduced in the Carnot model, the excitement ones are the most powerful and have the potential to lead to the highest gross profit margins. Innovation is undisputedly the catalyst in delivering these attributes to customers. You need to be able to distinguish what is an excitement today, because tomorrow it becomes a known feature and the day after it is used throughout the whole world. Attributes place on the model changes over time, an attribute will drift over time from exciting to performance and then to essential. The drift is driven by customer expectations and by the level of performance from competing products. For example mobile phone batteries were originally large and bulky with only a few hours of charge. Over time we have come to expect 12 plus hours of battery life on slim lightweight phones. The battery attributes have had to change to keep up with customer expectations. Uses Quality function deployment makes use of the Carnot model in terms of the structuring of the comprehensive QFD matrices. Mixing Carnot types in QFD matrices can lead to distortions in the customer weighting of product characteristics. For instance, mixing must be product characteristics a euro such as cost, reliability, workmanship, safety, and technologies used in the product a euro in the initial house of quality will usually result in completely filled rows and columns with high correlation values. Other comprehensive QFD techniques using additional matrices are used to avoid such issues. Carnot's model provides the insights into the dynamics of customer preferences to understand these methodology dynamics. The Carnot model offers some insight into the product attributes which are perceived to be important to customers. The purpose of the tool is to support product specification and discussion through better development of team understanding. Carnot's model focuses on differentiating product features, as opposed to focusing initially on customer needs. Carnot also produced a methodology for mapping consumer responses to questionnaires onto his model. Further information, see also, product management, product portfolio, new product development, quality function deployment, References. An unregistered trademark pound. Further reading, Cohen, Lou. Quality function deployment to how to make QFD work for you. Reading Massachusetts Addison Wesley. ISBN A0-201-63330-2A. Revel, Jack B. John W. Moran. Charles A. Cox. The QFD Handbook. New York, Wiley. ISBN A0 471 17381 9. External links, professional and free Carnot analysis through online surveys, knockout surveys. 1. Carnot model video tutorial, 2. With examples. UX and the Carnot model, February 2012. 3. Introductory article, Mike Cohn, 1. Didn't know I needed that. 
Finding Features to Satisfy Your Customers, Better Software, February 2006. 4. 